Hello everyone, this is Satvik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Kali Linux within VMware. So, first of all, VMware is a virtualization software. So, uh, currently, we'll be doing this on a Windows machine. So, it can it the process works in Windows 10, Windows 11, or even on Windows servers if you are like uh, doing it on like higher level. So VMware is a solution. So it is an alternative for the virtual box. So virtual box is from Oracle and it is open source, but VMware is not open source. Uh, in VMware, you have two versions, the VMware workstation player and pro. So player is a free version and pro is like a professional version. Like you need to pay money after 30 days of free trail, free trail. So uh, now I'll give all the links in the description below. So this is going to be an easy process. So you can do it and you can install the latest version of Kali Linux. So, uh, so first go to the link of the VMware, uh, click on download for free. So now we'll be discussing about the downloads and in the further next we'll discuss about like uh, specifications and sort of stuff. So the basic specifications is like you need to have minimum of 8 GB of RAM and like i3 equivalent processor and 8 gb of ram is something because it is necessary because like uh, uh, because as your visualization is nothing but like you are dividing your computer resources into several segments so in order to provide something to your uh, uh, like uh, machine os so you need to have some good specifications so here you have like vmware workstation so click on go to downloads and here you can see there are two versions here so windows 64 bit and Win linux 64 bit so click on windows 64 as we are doing it for windows so click on download now and it is going to take some time i already downloaded that so in order to save some time and also a uh, kali linux so you, you can go to this kali.org page click on download you can build it from scratch or you can use this virtual machines thing so click on virtual machines and uh, now click on this vmware 64 bit thing like you can download it if you are into torrents and stuff you can even download the torrent and anything is fine so once they are downloaded so let me open my uh, direct uh, let me open my directory here so download so you can see there are these are the two files that you will be getting and also one more thing is like when you're downloading the vmware right it is going to be coming in a format called .7z so like this may be required like you need to download this application called a 7zip so 7zip is nothing but an open source alternative for the winrar so you can download this thing it's like a normal software so it it, it works fine or else you may find difficulty in uh, opening this kali like you know this uh, vmware file okay so you can see both of them are downloaded so first of all before starting okay make sure that the virtualization is enabled on your laptop or in your pc so it will give you a panel like this click on yes okay uh, so as you are down as you are as you need to give administrator privileges okay so now it is going to you know like uh, start the process is going to start so I already covered how you can install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. So you can go and check that out if you want to. But uh, if some if some of you may, uh, like most of the people these days are like preferring VMware over VirtualBox because it has more features. So it's your choice ultimately. Uh, but personally, I like using VMware. Uh, I have Workstation Pro. I, I have like, uh, like a license for that. And it's like absolutely fine. So you have several features compared to that of VirtualBox. But again, it's it all comes under your, uh, you know, like your liking and everything. So let's wait. So this this one I'm go uh, the current operating system. The host e here is the Windows 10. So you can also try this on Windows 11. So the procedure is same. Okay. There are no other options to do. Okay. Let's wait. Uh, it is, you know, loading. Uh, so just click couple of next so accept the agreement next so you know like you can give the path to the uh, location where you want to install like i am uh, going with the default location but if you feel like your uh, c drive or like the default location is having less less space then you can do that okay so if you want you can add this to the path okay it's fine even though if you not add it's fine okay so these are some few options like i'm disabling both of them uh, because like uh, this makes the start bit uh, like whenever you're starting the application it takes some time and this is like customer experience program like it collects logs okay it's your choice if you want to so okay 
can create anything and you can click on install so it takes uh, like five to ten minutes depends upon your system specifications like even you know like even my system specification is very low so and also guys the host is nothing but a vmware so this is a vmware host so no need to confuse okay so this is on vmware only like i already have my you know like uh, my host machine have like everything so in host there is one more host and in that there is this kali linux getting installed okay so yeah so this is like pretty quick process the only download takes some time okay in the meantime what we'll do is like we'll unzip this uh, uh this thing so right click over here so if it doesn't gives you anything so you can uh, right click and you can go to open with okay and you can go to the 7-zip location where you know where you got it okay so let me uh, extract to the same location uh you know like background there are some stuff going on so yep uh, so it installs on lot of stuff so it is going to take some time and so it is done guys like i uh, extracted and also it's done so it asks you for like license you can click on finish okay you don't need to provide any license uh, if you can it is okay but even though if you don't provide it's okay it's fine but if you are uh, doing it with the uh, workstation pro the process is same but uh, it's only have like 30 days you know trail then you need to like uh, uh, get it done okay you need to get the license but for this it is not required so you can just run this vmware uh, workstation player sometimes it may ask you to restart so you can do the restart uh, sometimes it doesn't like there was a feature right for like to keyboard and sort of stuff so you can see use vmware workstation 17 player for free for non-commercial use like if you want to use it for the commercial use then you can go and uh, do that but i think it's fine okay so for normal user this is fine because i guess most of us do is like to have a lab right so i think we don't use it for the commercial purpose or anything else so now you can see here like uh, it's done so this is how it looks like so now we also have this thing so i extracted this dot seven zip files this zip file and uh, what you need to do is uh, there is going to be a file so configuration file yeah this is the configuration file so you can click on open virtual machine okay and now go to the location where you extracted it so go over here and this is the vmx file just open that that's it like this is very simple and straightforward process like you can see we have like few specifications like if you want you can edit them as well so like as of now my host is having like only 8 gb of ram so 2 gb is fine and processors i'll go with like uh, two cores okay i'll go with okay a hard disk is like 80 gb or something so it's fine so now you can click on play and it is going to start uh now you can see uh you can see it is working fine if you, if your mouse pointer is stuck so hit control and alt and here you have like full screen option click on full screen so now my kali linux is loading up so this is how you can do it this is pretty straightforward process so first install vmware but before that make sure you are having this uh, virtualization enabled uh, in your bios like uh, different and i don't know about the current systems like some systems might also have it within the system you don't need to go to the bios or anything so and that's it and also you don't need to install any software or anything to get the full screen as you are downloading the vmware uh, like file by default right for the car linux so you don't need to do anything so you can just open it and you can just click on play and you are good to go so let's wait till it is done i already set it up a little bit so uh, you won't get all this by default so you can just go ahead and you can customize it by uh, on your choice and uh, let's wait it's done so you get you, you may get not uh, full screen by default yeah if you do like minimize and maximize you'll get the full screen so now you can log in with kali kali so that's the basic password okay so the username is kali and the password is kali but i customized it a little bit so i have created a root user so you can also do that it's pretty simple and straightforward process okay and once you are done you will be having a page like this uh, home screen and that is it so that is it guys like how you can install kali linux within a vmware so if you do end up liking this video or if you feel this video is useful and informational you can just go ahead and uh, subscribe and also share this video with your friends this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you